there. So today is the 1st of October, which is awesome because it means two months until Christmas and my 16th birthday. Had to add that in there. So today I'm doing something a little bit different and um, I know I've been on YouTube for a year now. I actually just celebrated. Well, I didn't really celebrate, but um, my one year anniversary on YouTube was September 20 something. It was somewhere in the 20s. Anyways, so I want to start a, um, a series called Your Opinion Matters. That's the name of it right now. It might change if I get like some suggestions or like I think of something better. But basically, I have, over the past few months, I've noticed that people, when they have a different opinion than you, they seem to um, basically tell you that your opinion doesn't matter and that they're always right and blah blah blah. I mean, not everybody, but the people that I've kind of encountered have sort of been that way. And I mean, I get it when it comes to celebrities, like, you're gonna stand up for your person, and I mean, I stand up for my people all the time. Like, I'm always defending, like, Ario Winter and, like, Selena Gomez on Twitter and stuff. But, um, yeah, so it's just, this series is basically gonna be, like, news about pop culture, but also, like, kind of like a mixture of, like, my opinion on subjects, and then also, like, um, talking about things that are going on, like, in the real world. Although, the two things that, no matter how many times you ask me, which I mean, I don't think people will, but if you ask me to touch on political issues or governmental issues, I will not, I don't want to get involved in that because that is a very sticky subject where people get real brutal real fast. So, let's see. I, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to accept a different, like, topic slash like for example um a topic that's going on right now it's not really a topic but it's kind of more so something that happened so it is paris fashion week in the lovely paris france i've never been there but i would love to go um and kim k you know my girl kim she's over there right now with kanye and little baby northwest and she was getting out of a car to go into like a fashion show i think i'm pretty sure because it is paris fashion week and she was attacked. Now, I personally, I know that people either love Kim or they hate her. About maybe like eight months ago, I would say, I could really care less. Like I, I never like sent her hate or anything. I just didn't really like care about her that much. But I have Netflix, and Keeping Up with the Kardashians seasons 1 through 4 is on there. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna give this show a chance, like laugh at how stupid they are in their everyday lives, whatever. So I watched seasons 1 through 4 on Netflix, and I, um, I'm addicted to the Kardashians now. Um, I do agree with the people that say that Kim... Like, her, how she became famous is basically because of, um, something that I personally would never do. That's your own personal business. I don't know why people record stuff like that. But hey, hey, girls got it going on because she turned a horrible situation where she was really humiliated but she turned herself into a world known icon like i mean lover or hater she has doesn't she have the most amount of followers on instagram i think she does she has like something like 18 million um that's crazy like Taylor Swift, who I absolutely adore, and she has like a, I'm not going to say actual career, but she has a career where she's traveling, like putting on like shows and like recording albums and stuff, and she only has like what, like 13 million? Which I mean, I'm pretty sure she's happy about that because her favorite number is 13. But uh, yeah, so Kim K, I give you all the respect in the world. I think that you are gorgeous. I mean, she's not going to watch this, but I think she is gorgeous. And, sorry, I keep, like, kicking my tripod. Um, she's gorgeous, and, yeah, I mean, I don't really have any bad things to say about her. Although, 
Not a huge fan of Kanye. He's very, very, very lovely man when he's around Kim. But when he's not with Kim, yeah, not a fan. Anyways, so basically what I'm trying, like my point for all this is, is she was getting out of a car and she was attacked by this like celebrity prankster that's always messing with the celebs. And I, people have been making memes of it. Meme, meme, like I don't even know, I call it a meme. Um, and I think memes are very funny, and I mean, like, if you post a meme that I don't necessarily agree with, I'm not gonna, like, send hate to you, like, oh, hey, that's not very respectful, but, like, the fact that people are posting pictures of Kim being attacked, which we all know Kim K is known for her very strong facial expressions. You know, the crying Kim is, like, all over the internet, and I mean, I have laughed at it, because, I mean, she does have an ugly cry, but I mean... Who is pretty when they cry? I know I look horrible when I'm crying. I'm like, it's not pretty. So she had a very um, scared look on her face. And I mean, she was being attacked. Like, what do you expect her to do? Smiling like, I'm being attacked. So, you know, I don't get why people are like making fun of her because you wouldn't be smiling if somebody was trying to knock you down to the ground either. Um. And people have been making memes of it, like, using her face to describe their feeling. And, I mean, that's totally fine. Like, if you want to do that, who cares? I just, I do, that's the one meme. <laughs> I find it a little disrespectful because, I mean, she was just attacked. Like, what do you expect from her? You know what I mean? So, that's just my opinion. I think it's funny, and I do laugh at it, depending on what the person's, like, description is with the photo of Kim. But I do find it a little disrespectful. Like, she was attacked, and you're basically making a joke out of it. That's not funny at all. Like, I mean, maybe a little. But in all, in overall honesty, it's not funny. <laughs> but, yeah. So basically, that's what the series is going to be. Just, you give me a topic, and I'll say my opinion on it. Or, I mean, like, I'm sure this um, series will get developed as time goes on. But that is pretty much it. So if you have a topic or, like, an opinion that you want to know my thoughts on, just leave that in the comments. And I don't know if I'm going to do this weekly, probably, because, I mean, things usually happen every week. Yeah. So maybe I'll do it weekly, we'll see. But that is the first episode of Your Opinion Matters. And um, leave in the comments suggestions for what you want me to talk about next and your opinion on the whole Kim K. Paris thing. See you later.